Hey, welcome to this video. So today's video is going to talk about emergency contraception, specifically Plan B. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Adriana and I am a community pharmacist. I specialize in over-the-counter medication. And this is a question that I get all the time from ladies of reproductive age. I'm gonna be transparent, I have taken Plan B before. I already have a daughter and when I was in school, I really could not risk getting pregnant. So there are times when you may need to take the pill. Right. So the first question I'm always asking them is, how long has it been since you had unprotected sex? The reason why this is so important is because Plan B is most effective if taken 72 hours after the event occurred. Now there are a lot of guidelines that say you can take it up to 120 hours after the event, but it's most effective within the 72 hour period. So the manufacturers of Plan B and all the other generics that are out there they recommend that the pill be taken 72 hours after. So if it's been more than 72 hours, I would still recommend taking it. If it's been over 120 hours, there's a possibility you are at high risk of becoming pregnant. So there's three different mechanisms by how it works. It can prevent ovulation. It also can prevent fertilization of the egg. And it may also prevent the attachment of the egg to the uterus. If you're already pregnant, levonorgestrel will not work. It will not cause an abortion. If you did take the Plan B pill or any of the generics and you were pregnant but didn't know, reach out to a doctor and seek treatment. Okay, so when is it appropriate to use Plan B? Use Plan B after unprotected sex and you have either a contraceptive failure. So let's say you missed your birth control, you didn't wear a condom. If there's any type of failure of your normal contraceptive method, you can take plan B. Or let's say you weren't using any type of protection, then go ahead and take plan B as well. And another very important thing to know when taking plan B is if you vomit two hours after taking the pill, you actually have to repeat the dose. There's a possibility that when you vomit after taking plan B, the actual dose never made it to your system. So you will actually have to repeat the dose. Also, plan B is not meant to be a regular birth control. So do not use this after every unprotected sex event you have. If you're noticing that you're using plan B very often, maybe more than twice a year, you need to get on birth control. This is not an effective form of birth control. It's not meant to be birth control. And honestly, there's not enough data out there to even know if it can be used safely that way. I also wish I knew before taking Plan B were the side effects. Most common side effect you might experience are severe headache, nausea, vomiting, breast tenderness, and even cramping. Now, ladies, if you start experiencing severe cramping, very severe or irregular bleeding, you need to consult a doctor right away. Go to an emergency room or contact your OBGYN immediately. This could be a sign of a severe side effect. So the other important thing is when to expect your next period. So after taking an emergency contraceptive like Plan B, you should have your period within three weeks or 21 days. If you do not get your period within 21 days, you need to consult a doctor because you might be pregnant. All right, now let's just go ahead and take a look at the pill. So. So I did destroy the box a little bit. So, okay. Ah! This is really hard to open. <laughs> okay, all right. So after tearing up the box, this is the size of the pill. So, you know, compared to my finger, it's really not that big. It's just one pill one dose. Um, back in the day, there used to be a two-step version and that's been taken off the market, I think, because uh, it's just so much easier to take the one pill. Okay, so you just pop it out, take it with a glass of water. Um, with or without food is fine. Um, just take it. If you're normally prone to nausea or, you know, becoming queasy when you take medications, then I would recommend having a little something on your stomach to prevent vomiting. Also, it comes with a leaflet. Um, make sure you open it up. You need to read it. Educate yourself. Um, you know, it has step-by-step -step instructions. And also, ladies, if you 
go to CVS and you see the generic brands, they are just as effective. So you can take that. I know that the makers of Plan B have a coupon available on their website. So if you're trying to save um, some money on the pill, go ahead and download a coupon. I believe the Plan B runs about $50 and the generics are about $30 to $40. All right, and that's about it, ladies. Um, if I missed anything, let me know. Please leave a comment below. I'll be sure to answer it. I'll be leaving my sources down below. So please check those out. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.